Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back for a brand new video. In this one we're talking, is Nia ever going to return in the future? Long story short, yes, I think she will be back in some form. And that's what I want to talk about today, because the season 15 finale is huge. She merges with the sea and she is forced to leave Ninjago, because the thing is, this episode doesn't really tell us about Nia's future. In season 3, we learn that Zeta's alive, he reunites with Pixel, but here we learn that yes, she's happy, she's still out there, but it doesn't tell us what her future is like, we don't know if she'll even return. So yeah, because this, this future for her is so unclear at the moment, we have a lot of speculation to do. As I said earlier, I do feel like she will be back somehow. It's just more a question of how, in what role, and when. First off, I don't feel like if they do bring her back, I don't think that would ruin Seabound at all. They did a great job of reversing Zayn's death in Season 4. It was a great story. Zayn's death rocked, Season 4 rocked. So I don't think bringing Nia back ruins this story. As for why she'd be back, well, I don't see Ninjago ever removing one of the six main characters permanently. I mean, yeah, they've done stuff temporarily before, this and Zayn's death, but permanently, I, I just don't see it. I feel like this departure from the team is just the first part of a greater story, something we'll see next year, and this is also what Braggy seemed to imply in this tweet, saying that there's more to come and the story isn't over. Tommy Drace had also described next year's season as conclusion, which I feel could refer to Vegito, Nia, or both. But yeah, again, I feel she will return. So the question is, what kind of role will she play? Will she turn into a human again? Will she just play a minor role? Honestly, I have no idea. If they wanted to make her human again, I think they definitely could. This story is focusing on Vegstone, which blocks or lessens powers. So maybe that could serve as a way to turn her human again. There's also the theory that all of the teapot references are leading up to a Nanakon return. And that is just a matter of wishing her back. I really doubt Nanakon will return. We've seen the teapot for four seasons now. This theory's been going around for two years. I don't think it's happening. I think it's just a run of gag or a joke at this point. And Braggy also seems to suggest that, saying that it's really just something the animators threw in. Of course, there's also the possibility she doesn't become human again. She just returns in her water form. Maybe she could regain her memories and become a permanent member of the team again. Or maybe she only comes back in very small roles. Maybe she never really fully returns, but just comes in small appearances to help out Jay or motivate him. And then there's also the possibility we didn't discuss much that she just never returns, which, well, let's just say I'd be sad, but also I'd be surprised. But what do you guys think? Really anything is possible right now, so feel free to share your thoughts below. But that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, and I'll see you guys next time.